Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make a simple clock in the terminal using Python. So the clock will look something like this. It's updating every second and I think it looks cool. So let's start. First of all we have to import some stuff that we will need. Oh, I'm going to save my files plus one. So from time we import we oops from last import system from date time import date time so we need the system module for clearing our screen sleep function for sleeping for one second for making our program to sleep one second because we won't don't want it to run to run very fast because it will be taking a lot of memory if it won't be stopping for some time. So def clear, def clear. We have the one function that will be clear clearing our screen. So system clear. Okay. Now let's create a list of list of our letters. So letters letters will be will be a dictionary, not, not a list sum. So, let's for now create just one letter. So, it should be Unicode string. It will be a big string. So, I will take a block from there and I will be representing those numbers using the blocks so the re the source code is in the description so you can download it and uh, get those blocks actually too it's a unicode character so that's why we have a u here so it's one, two, three, four, and yeah last line okay so now we have one and we can clean. Oh yeah, let's create a new function called translate. That translate. Mm, it will be translating our text, converting it to such big numbers, such big letters. So letters is an empty list where our output letters will be stored. So for letter in text, letters that are and letter, oops, letters, and so we have to go to the test string, so we can just first uh, then. Okay, now for i in range 5, i in range 5, y5, because our error character is 5 below 8. So for I in range 5 and for each letter in the list of the letters print letter that split so split it's also like split lines split lines and sure this function is done in Python too so okay and we have to take the i index so first of and we have to put a comma there so it won't be going to the next line after printing that one and then mm, right print here so how does it work for each line in that in each letter this is an our list it print it prints out that line letter that split split lines it gets all the lines and choose uh, the one we need right now. So let me show you how does it work. So translate, for example, one. So we have only number one right now. So let's just find the cloud that we want. Oops, yeah, I forgot. We have to add a UTF-8 encoding in our script so we can use such characters there. Oops. Now let's do it again. Yeah, as you can see, we have number one here. Oh, 
okay that's really cool now we just have to add some more numbers for example number two number three and so on i already have those numbers written down so i won't write them right now if you want to get them you can get SARS code is in the description so this is my list i'm going to copy it Okay, now let's try to translate 12, 12, 12. Oh, wait, what's wrong in world syntax online? Hmm, strange. Wait, it looks like a mix. Oh, yeah, yeah. two brackets. Okay, so as you can see it works. 12, 12, 12. And you can pass in the numbers here and, to, and it will be still working. So now let's create our clock function. It will be actually running every second and parsing time to our translate function. Actually, there might something like a main loop. So while one, try because we'll have exact keyboard interrupt so you press ctrl c then no problem exit so close the screen and places system exit one <coughs> so oh first have to raise it just can break that's all yeah so while one try see time so it's current time set to date time dot now now so no we don't have to extract it and then we just cal function translate translate dot join c time dot hour c time dot minute and c time dot second second so we just parse something like a not a list, a string to our function translate using those two variables and we put the sign between them ok so yeah let's try it out so look our function and second setting oh okay. ah yeah so because those are integers and we have to convert them to string to use function join with them so string i for i in let's try it again oh yeah you saw it works but we have to add a delay so that's actually why we imported the sleep function so then we sleep uh, no, zero is fine. So we will run twice a second. So you can make it just so to run once a second or, or twice a second. Doesn't matter. And we have to clear screen before printing something. But, uh, so as you can see, it works now, but it's not very good because um, there is a seven. Then so it's now it's twenty eight. And six and we want to add zeros before those numbers so how do we do this i'm going to stop it <coughs> sorry mr i i'm going to modify it right here if now i l i so now if length of our million second of Oh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not to to be added a zero before it. And then count the function. Just like it. Oh. Two. Oh. Else? Okay. And yeah. Oops. As you can see, it works now. <coughs> so, so, zero nine, zero four. So yeah, 
the code is in the description again and you can get it so thanks for watching and bye